Welcome back to my channel for another video. So this week, I can't stop smiling. I don't normally trade mid-session. As a matter of fact, I always stick to specific time ranges, i.e. 8 a.m., 2.30 p.m., 8.15 p.m., all London time. I've said it a million times, you've heard me saying it. Um, but I do watch the Dow during the day as well. I don't trade it, but I do like to watch it. All right, I do like to watch it. But on this occasion, there was a massive, massive sell-off. Okay, and it was over, you know, it was over rhetoric. Okay, there was rhetoric, and that's caused the market to it didn't crash, but a massive, massive pullback, massive pullback. So I waited and waited and waited, and I took a position initially, um, because I thought it hit the bottom, so I was buying the dip basically. But I ended up getting stopped out because I put a stop loss on for two hundred pounds, and um, I didn't record it unfortunately, um, but I did have a two hundred pound loss. Um, and then I waited again because I knew that again that my first entry was wrong my second entry was spot on um, and I held this position okay I held it and I wasn't even going to um, record it to be honest with you because I wasn't recording the trade so I managed to get a couple of recordings of it so the recording of the trade itself really doesn't last very long it's like two minutes but I held this position for quite quite a while um, but again it, you know it's a demonstration that um, you know the patterns again that I use and again I've used my patterns to identify this and you know a fantastic return 900 pounds you know I, I rarely make that on one trade rarely but it was fantastic to hold this you know normally I'm in now quite quick you know within kind of like 5 to 15 minutes they're my usual trades and um, held this one it was a much smaller position size so my, my normal position size is normally anywhere between 10 and 15k just depending on how I'm feeling on this occasion it was just over 7k because you know this wasn't a scalp position this was a potential swing so you can't be taking <laughs> you can't be taking massive massive scalp positions you know that are not actually scalp positions but they're swing positions you know well Maybe, you know, maybe that's how other traders might take a position size like that. Me personally, I wouldn't because, as again, I've said in the past, I'm a conservative trader. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was nice to trade mid-session, which I don't normally do, and I certainly don't recommend either. Um, you know, it was one of these rare occasions where an opportunity pre presented itself and my patterns did form. So I took the, um, I took the trade based around that. So as usual guys, make sure that you smash that like button, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and if you want to contact me, you can contact me at my Instagram and that is sambora.00. Hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, so there's my entry there. So 27309, just that blue line, that's where my entry was. Now this is not the usual size position that I would take. So this is 7.7K of margin. Okay, reason being that this is not a scalp trade. You know, identified this as a potential swing um, and the spread was relatively wide on this but I waited for you know I waited quite a while to see that bullish movement before I ended my trade and um, hence why I've only started recording it from now because I just wasn't expecting such a massive massive um, retracement now I knew there would be a recovery there has to be a recovery after such a sell-off there simply has to be a recovery you know it has to happen but I was not expecting such a big recovery, so hence why I didn't um, I didn't record all of this trade, which I did, but I didn't. Um, so and this is important, you know, this is important. So again, my entry was based on price action and the characteristics that you would associate with price action. And um, my first entry was in fact wrong, so I lost two hundred pound initially. Um, I waited and then. Because I thought I actually bought the dip, but I didn't. So there was a, it actually it actually sold off again. So that's why I lost. But my second position, you know, my second entry was absolutely spot on. Because I knew, you know, I knew again the formations, the patterns that I use. I knew what was going to happen. Okay, my timing was slightly wrong on the first entry, but I got it right in the second entry, and that's. You know that is what happens sometimes it's happened quite a lot recently actually to be honest with you but look at that 870 pounds and you know i'll take that now i'll take that because you know it's finding resistance resistance is being rejected here it's really really slowing down so you know i'm just going to take this i think i think i'll take this because look at that it's been rejected now all right it's been rejected see the number of rejections about four or five rejections there so that's my indication now just to get out. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take that 900 pound basically. 
um, and I'll be happy with that. I'll be absolutely delighted with that, to be perfectly honest with you. So let me just see, let me see. Yeah, you see, it's still trying, so I'll take that, 900 pounds. So there you have it. There you have it, listen, an absolutely fantastic return. As I said, I don't get returns normally that often. It's normally, you know, much smaller returns, but we do get these big ones every now and again, and it's nice. It's nice, it is nice. Um, but you know, again, interesting, very, very interesting that you should always be in touch with what's happening. You know, even if you're just trading specific times, it is always good to um, to have your fingers on the pulse. You know, you've got to have your fingers on the pulse. You've got to be on your toes in this business. You know, if I wasn't watching the Dow yesterday, I would have missed this opportunity. I would have missed this opportunity and I wouldn't have made 900 pounds. Okay, so again, you know, absolutely fantastic return. And again, it's just, a, it's another demonstration of how, you know, effective my patrons are. You know, where I can just pick it mid, mid session, which I don't normally do, but on this occasion, you know, the opportunity presented itself, you know, and when an opportunity like that presents itself, you must take it, okay, you must take it. But as I've said before, my first entry was wrong, lost 200 pounds, okay, next, entry was spot on 900 pounds so the net result overall was 700 pounds okay so delighted with that as usual guys make sure that you smash that like button make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and again if you want to contact me you can contact me at my instagram and that is sambora.00 i hope you have a good weekend and yeah you know hang in there you know just hang in there if you're struggling just keep going you know, we you find yourself struggling, reduce your position sizes and just keep going. The key element here is not to stop. It's like a marathon. Okay, you can slow down and you can you can run at walking pace if you need to, but you don't stop. Okay? Have a good weekend.